should you buy a ZL1? What's going on, guys, man? I'm back! See you know. Yeah, a couple pulls right quick. You know what I mean? Station, golly! I'm taking this one. Get a wine a little bit. I can't put my foot on it because the people in front of me. But um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, man. So my next video is, should you buy a ZL1? Why not? Why, why not? First off, but anyway, um, should you buy a ZL1, man? Um, I can't really tell somebody what to buy. I really, I really can't, but. I can I can give a suggestion. So get some police up there hiding. Boy, I tell you, these police is dog. <sighs> Jesus Christ, bro. No, let me get in front of you. I see these police hiding. But anyway, um, let me go back down to 55. Man. They be ready. They're ready to get me now. They don't get nobody else. They'll get me. Hey, sir. It looks like you was driving fast. Not even I was driving fast. It looked like he was driving fast. But, um, over there hiding. But anyways, my suggestion is, first off, what you like. It's really all about what you like. Um, do you want to blend in? Or do you want to you want to be set apart from everybody else? You know what I mean? Um, challenging, bro. Anyways, yeah, so first you gotta ask yourself, you know, which one do you honestly like? Like, are you getting it because you wanna go fast? Or are you getting it because it's, it looks good? Or are you getting it because it's your dream car? Or are you getting it because it's, um, it's, uh, what else? I keep looking at my mirror rearview mirror because he left he left the spot i don't know where he went but um yeah so it, it really depends on first off what are you getting it for you know you want a track car you want to you want a car just you want a car that just go fast um you want a car that look good you know what i mean it just it just all depends on all depends on your preference. Like I said, I, the suggestion now, if you're choosing, it depends on what you're choosing to paint between you choosing a, a, a GT500 Mustang, you choosing a Camaro ZL1, you choosing a Hellcat. Um, I don't know. My reasons, you know, my suggestion is, okay, if you, if you had to choose, between a, any of those cars, I'm gonna say, of course, I'm gonna say a ZL1, you know. Um, I'll say the ZL1 because, first of all, um, everybody don't have one, you know what I'm saying? This is the era of Hellcat, so mostly you're gonna see Dodge Chargers and Challengers, you're not gonna really see any ZL1s. Um, because that's Hellcats are the popular thing in the streets. You know what I mean? Um, look at that! I just passed by one. See what I'm saying? Like, there, those are the most popular cars. If you want what's popular, get the get the Hellcat. Simple as that. But if you want, you know, if you want to be different, stand out from the crowd, man. And you pull up and they like, what is that? 
if you're not a car guy. If you're a car guy, you know exactly what it is. But if you're not a car guy, you can pull up like, what kind of car is that? Or what, what, I never seen, I don't hardly see any like that. Or some people like, I never seen one that looked like this. You know what I mean? So it's all like, if you want to be different, then you come get the ZL1, man. You're going to be different from everybody else. First of all, they're harder to get. These cars are harder to get. You can, you can go down the street and get your Hellcat. You can't go down the street and get no ZL1. Not every, not every dealership sell it. A lot of them get it upon a request. You know what I mean? And like, like I said, because it's, it's not a car that everybody asks for. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so it's not a car that everybody, you know, want. So they're not gonna have a high commodity of them at, at their dealership. Um, these are not, these are higher, more expensive than the Hellcat. If you're not getting a Y body, it's way more expensive than the Hellcat. Cause like I said, you can get you a regular one for like a brand new, normal, no, no Y body kit, nothing for 54,000. Like I said, I've seen plenty. And um, so if you want the speed for the price, then you have to go for Hellcat, you know? Everybody know Hellcat 707 and 797, you know, for the red eye. So for the price, go after the Hellcat, but you know, go, go get the Hellcat. And you know, that's the best bang for your buck. You you can't you can't deny it. Even, it, it don't matter if you Chevy or not, you can't deny 707 for 54000 dollars bro. You just that's just amazing. That's brand new now, I'm saying. Now, if you get a used, you probably get a used one for like, you know, 49, 48. But, yeah. But, um, I suggest, and this is a suggestion, when people ask, new or used. Now, I'm going to say this. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say go new. If you're trying to get a car, like especially one of these cars, Hellcat. It don't matter. It's Hellcat ZL1, um, 392 Scat Pack. It don't matter. If you get any of those cars, I would say go new. And my reason is, is because these things get beat up on. Like you don't know what the previous owner did. The previous owner probably freaking. That's this is how he drove all day. You know what I'm saying? So. Definitely, definitely if you can go new. And the thing about it is, guys, when you get in these vehicles, they're not that much of a difference when you go new, new and used. A couple thousand, that's it. But it's not like 10,000 more if you go, you know, if you're going brand new from used. Unless that used vehicle is got 96,000 miles on it. Yeah, of course. But other than that, it's not a drastic difference between getting a brand new and road in the new one you got to realize like every thousand is twenty dollars basically if you look at it like that so you know what i'm saying five thousand if it's five thousand dollars more that's a hundred dollars more you know car payment so you know you if you look at it like that you if five thousand look a lot but once you break it down in financing it's like twenty dollars a thousand you see what i'm saying every thousand is worth twenty dollars but I would always suggest somebody to go new because you don't know what the previous owner did. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how he drug it out, how he beat on these cars. So, you know, that's my suggestion. But anyways, back to, you know, should you get a Camaro ZL1? It, like I said, it just depends, bro. It depends on what you want out of that car or why you want that car. You know what I mean? For me, it personally, like I said before in plenty of my videos, you don't see these cars often. If I see another ZL1 right now, you will know because I'm saying, oh, it's a ZL1, oh, it's a ZL1. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just um, my reaction because you don't see them. You don't see them like that. And I love that, man. I love that. I love to pull up and people just looking. People blowing their horns, people giving you thumbs up. I get all of that. So it's like, you know, if you want to be different from everybody else, get the ZL1. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I suggest anybody to get it. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're trying to be, you know, I feel like if you want to be different, get the ZL1. And if you want to blend in with everybody else, get the, get the Hellcat. You know? You know, even if you don't know what 
even if the, the good part about ZL1s is even if you don't know the car, like you're not a car person, you're gonna know when you see this car, or when you see a ZL1, you're gonna know that's not a regular, a regular Camaro. Like it's just, it's impossible. You're gonna look at it, you're gonna like, dang, why the front end? I never seen one the front end look like. Why the hood look? What's that scoop in the hood? Like, dang, I ain't never seen one like that. You know what I mean?